I, I, I just feel like from day one, God's hand has been in this whole thing. Now, where it's going to go, I don't know. Um, but I'm trusting him. The, the doctor said there is no more treatment that we can give you. So it was either surgery or um, or passing away. A couple of years ago, we had discovered the cancer was returning. That was when they put me on immunotherapy. It did work. All, all the cells were taken out, but there's a whole new colony starting to grow in the exact same spot. The cancer had returned, and immunotherapy was no longer an option. It wasn't working. Only one other option, and that was surgery to completely remove the cancer. His oncologist did contact the hospital board, and the board decided that they were going to take a chance on Ken. I was actually excited. Scared, but excited, because this is a scary surgery. Looking at this going, maybe this is the finally the opportunity to get this thing out of my body. Jesus has got me. No matter, he's got me, got my back. How do you do this kind of a journey without God in your life? I, I think it's really hard. I've done my best to praise him. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Sorry, just, it's so true. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Uh, my name is Dan Pfeiffer. Uh, I play guitar on the worship team here at Grace Church. I think the, one of the, the best things about Kenny, though, is his faith. It's never wavered. It's never changed. God has his back, um, and, and he's a lover of Jesus. My name is Jan Marco, and I've been playing guitar in the, in the band since 2019. Every, every day that we, that we met, it was um, a new news, maybe, but we were always um, thinking on what happened in, in his consult, medic consult, and how he was very positive about that. I don't know if I want to say that. I don't want to say it's always just positive because it's something that the Holy Spirit puts you, you know? It's not just, just a positive thinking. It's uh, an assurance that God is with you, um, that you can accept the will of God in every situation. I had also accepted the Lord at a, at a young age, but hadn't really focused on him. Never really leaned into the Lord like I have during this part of my life, to be honest. I've never really had a strong earthly father figure in my life. And the only father is the Lord for me. He's always going to be there. And I just need to come to him more often. You have to trust in the Lord. And man, you know, I know that's kind of cliche, but um, there's no other way to, to do it. I knew it had gone well because when I woke up, I had tubes coming out everywhere, <laughs> which was totally opposite the first time we tried the surgery back in 2019. So I knew, I knew there was some success and how much I didn't really realize until uh, she told me and the doctors told me that they had gotten everything. And uh, obviously God had a plan. I'm thankful for Rose. Little did I know marrying her 45 years ago that, that this would happen, but, but we've grown a lot together in this. Rose is, my, Rose is one of my rocks. We're thankful that, that God has a plan for us grateful that I have my Heavenly Father in my life as someone I can go to for, for everything that I need.